my family, my friends, my diadems, and my jewels. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while except for on live, but I am coming on, coming on here to let you know that I am starting a new series a, um, my, on my weight loss journey. Um, of course, we always on the weight loss journey. I told told some I told you guys last time that I'm I'm on a weight loss journey to lose 100 pounds. Um, however, I have to do it <laughs> to lose 100 pounds. Um, so I wanted to share with you something that I have started. I went to the bariatric clinic um, at Metro, one of the hospitals here in my city in Ohio, in Cleveland. And um, I am going to get the surgery. I can't get it right now because I have to get the, you know, the right insurance to pay for it. But until then, what was happening after all our conversation that we had, they gave me this. And it's called Victoza. Um, and so this right here is what I am going to be using to help with losing weight controlling appetite getting myself together um until i get to surgery so i wanted to explain to you guys what this is um it is i've already started it i started it it's what is this thursday i started it on monday i think i started monday so this is a pen and this medicine what it does is it helps to control your appetite it also helps to um with hormone imbalance and um to help to speed up my metabolism because i had a um i had surgery done a while a while ago a couple years ago and um it it knocked me into menopause knocked me it, it knocked me straight into menopause it took away it um I, my hormones is all out of whack. <laughs> I'm, I'm 53, so my metabolism ain't moving too fast for nobody. It ain't in no hurry to help me lose weight at all, okay? So, and with that, um, it, cur it, it curves your appetite and it also take away cravings. It takes away cravings. I, I, can, I can say that. So, the side effects she told me four i can only remember three three of the side effects is nausea acid reflux and constipation and i have experienced a little bit of all three of them so far um but they not not bad at all so what it is is it's a needle that you you see that you you take you um it's it's separated it's for seven days. You see those those lines. The the pin is the pin right here. When you press the needle in, it will only go so far. So it only lets you inject a certain amount of medicine each day. So I am on. It starts on zero, and it goes up to. Wait a minute. Let me see. Okay, this is the amount that I'm taking. 0. Point, it's really 0. 0.6, 0. 0.6. So they want me to take 0. 0.6 um, for two weeks. And then after two weeks, I'll go up to 12. And then after two, after those two weeks, I'll go up to um, 18. So it only, it only goes, it only goes up those three, those three. So um, the only thing you have to do is you just have to take an alcohol wipe, wipe that off, wipe the top part off, and they have to stay refrigerated. Wipe the top part off. Um, this is the needle, and the needle, it just goes like right on top of there after you wipe it off. And the needle is so, I, I'm not going to open it because once you open this, you need, you have to use it. But the needle is only, the needle is, you see that green thing right there? The needle is up under that green thing, but the needle is not, as it's only like half the length of that green thing. 
and it's real, real thin. So when you poke yourself, you don't really even feel it. Um, it's, it ain't even worse than them pricking your finger. I'm telling you, it is not worse than them pricking your finger when you gotta get your finger pricked. It don't even feel that bad because that hurt when they prick my finger. So, um, and when you when you put the needle on there, you know, you gotta press it up a little bit to make sure the fluid is coming out, no air bubbles. And you can only put it in your fatty part, in your stomach, like an inch away from your belly button, in your stomach, your thighs, and in the fat part of the back of your arm. So, um, and, you, and you're supposed to do it once a day, just once. And that's really all you need to do it once a day, y'all, because it really does take away your appetite. And so when you do eat, you it don't you you don't take you when you do eat it do not take long for you to get full so you're not gonna sit up there and eat you know you might not sit up there and eat like no whole plate of food um because you would be full um i did that last night i noticed that i couldn't even finish all my yogurt and parfait or whatever that i had because i was starting to be full and so it was like i'm not gonna really sit up here and make myself stuff stuff myself and eat it and the thing other thing about this medicine is it regulates what you eat um if you eat something that you're not supposed to eat like sugary stuff or uh carb stuff stuff anything that got to do with sugar um you'll be able to tell you it because you'll get nauseated you'll you'll get nauseated and so that's that's the the all i can say that's the plus side for me because i don't want to feel sick so i'm not gonna be eating ice cream and cookies and all the rest of that if i know i got i i, I know i took this medicine because i don't want to i don't want to feel sick and i don't want to have acid reflux you know what i'm saying so and it's the same thing with the surgery once you had the surgery you can't eat certain things if you do you'll be vomiting you'll be regurgitating and so you know you know i haven't i don't think you'll be doing that on here but so it regulates for me it helps me it, i can honestly say these three i've been on it for three days the three days that i've been on it i have not had cravings for like sweet stuff um the only sweet thing that i that i have had in the in those in the three days period is um the cream my creamer and my coffee and that's it um I don't have no I don't have an appetite. I do have to I do have to make myself eat because they want me to get used to eating like three meals a day, three healthy meals a day. And sometimes I don't always eat breakfast. And if I eat breakfast, I definitely don't eat lunch. And then I might I'll eat dinner. So um we she they want me working on breakfast right now, like um eating a healthy breakfast. Because we, we know you know, breakfast is like the most important meal of the day because it gives you your energy to get going and all the rest of that. So um, I'm working on definitely eating breakfast, eating a better breakfast and just eating breakfast period at a decent time. So that way around lunchtime, I can have something to eat. But right now I don't want anything to eat. So I do have protein shakes. And that's the main thing is too, they want you to get your protein. We know protein is very important for your bones and all the rest of that. And when you're in menopause, you need that stuff because you don't want to end up with osteoporosis. Okay? Okay. Um, so, um, it is definitely helping me not to eat what I, what I should not eat. The only thing I have to do is to regulate my food and to make sure I do eat a little bit of, you know, um, for all three meals because I want to make sure that I'm getting everything that I that I'm supposed to get today I'm not eating because I am doing a cleanse today and it's Thursday and so I'm cleanse I'm using this to help me to cleanse myself which is good so I've been drinking a lot of fluids trying to get my you know giving some good stuff to my liver giving my liver a break giving my all the rest of that stuff giving it a break from having to break down food and trying to get all, uh, you know, the food that's in there out. So I am, I'm definitely using this to help me to do a cleanse, a cleansing. And I think I'm gonna do it for like maybe two days. Um, but tomorrow maybe I, I might eat like a salad or something in, in the evening. But today I'm not eating anything, I'm drinking. I'm drinking fluids. So, um, and it's already like, um, 
seven o'clock and I haven't had anything else, anything to eat. And I don't feel real sluggish. That's the thing because I have been drinking water. Um, I drank a, um, this beet juice thing that I have. I drank that and um, I drank my coffee this morning. And so what I'm getting ready to go drink now is I'm getting ready to go get one of my protein shakes. I'm gonna drink one of those. And, um, and then I'll probably just, oh, and then I'll have my tea. I'm going to drink a protein shake, a tea, and then the rest, and then I'll have water. And that's all I'm going to drink for today. So I'm going to be tracking my journey, guys. And I'm going to let y'all know um, how, how it helped. My weight right now is 308. I'm being honest. Might as well be honest. Put it out there. That's what I weighed in at when I went to the doctor. It was 308. I'm putting it out there because I want to be on my weight loss journey. And I was, I have not been at 300 in a long time. Last year, since I had that surgery, I have gained 30 pounds since I had that surgery. It was a hysterectomy and it just knocked me hormones all out of whack. And, and they said that will happen sometimes. And, um, and that's what it is. So we gonna work on it we gonna lose this weight get back healthy get it off a pound at a time um and so i just wanted to share that i'm trying the victoza and um if you guys want to you know if you're interested in it talk to um talk to your doctor and probably they'll send you to like a, a, a weight loss clinic and it's not expensive at all and i don't have insurance i am i got rated so i got rated and i can get this on my rating um i pay i bought my other stuff my alcohol wipes and my needles i they 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 did give me the needles but um i didn't pick them up i gotta go pick them up so and this needle was only like these these two were only like ten dollars at the pharmacy so yeah so that's that we on our way follow me on my weight loss journey i'll be like probably i'm gonna try to put up like a video like two videos a week on what's going on and maybe show you start showing y'all about um some things that i'm eating um some of my low carb meals and um we might even try to throw some cooking in there again how i used to cook i'm gonna do my best <laughs> so uh i'm gonna end this video thank you guys for watching um, I love you guys with the love of the Lord. Don't forget to be nice to someone and be kind to someone. Come on, let's get on the journey. See y'all um, in the next video or in the break room in the morning. Peace.